Mm. Well, I'm a very last minute addition. Um, and the whole aim was that I was going to actually introduce the guys and share a little bit about their life. But as Clive pointed out, everybody knows who they are. So uh, I'm just going to share a few thoughts, um, very, very short and sweet, about uh, yep. how much oh, I love um, focusing on uh, solutions this rather that than problems. So the fact that this event is all about what can we do rather than how can we hunker down and give in. Um, I really love that. I really love focusing on the positive aspects of uh, pretty much everything and how we can put a spin on it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to uh, just sharing a couple of thoughts and then hearing what the guys have got to say. Yeah, I was, uh, I was working with uh, Steve Wright in the afternoon for 24 years. So uh, in honour of Wrighty, um, I thought I would uh, do a few factoids today. So you might get to hear a few factoids about our guest speakers, which might, might be fun and everyone can guess whether they're true or false. I think in terms of my sort of take on everything that's going on, I think um, the more people have connection, the better it is. I think one of the big um, issues that the people face is when they feel isolated. Um, and I think uh, in the beginning of it all, people who kind of um, thought, hold on, none of this sits quite right with me, um, initially felt very alone until we realised that there were millions of us. And when you recognise there's so many other people who feel the same way about so many things, that's where the magic happens. So I don't know we're ever going to beat anything, but the stronger we are, um, you know, as a as a tide, if you like, um, then the more that tide can turn. So I think events like this are brilliant for bringing people together. It's amazing to be in a room with like-minded people and to have that sense of connection. So Matt Letizia, good to meet you, sir. Uh, Thank you. I've been sort of seeing what you've been doing for the last. Uh, couple of years speaking out about uh, well the craziness of things <laughs> and I've got to thank you because it was great to see someone uh, pretty well known like yourself uh, speaking out uh, no problem just speaking to someone else a minute ago how uh, it just felt so lonely you just felt like you were the only one a few years ago <coughs> uh, but then people like you started emerging and started meeting so many other people so uh, yeah tell me a little bit more about your journey through the crazy times <laughs> yeah it's been an interesting few years there's, there's no doubt about that um, not sure I was quite prepared for the backlash that was going to come from going against the government narrative um, but all the evidence that I was seeing um, I didn't feel like I could not say anything um, I felt like people needed to know the whole story and not just oh, half of it, which is what we were being given from the government. Uh, and that was kind of the, the really big thing that uh, encouraged me to speak out, really. I, I don't like unfairness, um, uh, and I think we as humans should be given all the information that's available to us, and we should be free to make up our own minds on that information. We shouldn't be fed government propaganda and just one side of the story the whole time. Uh, indeed, so uh, it's brilliant to see you uh, speaking out. And what are you going to be talking about today? So I think um, I'm going to be talking with, with Richard Bobes and we're going to just chew the fat about what's happened the last few years, really. I, I guess a, a little bit about the journey that I've been on, uh, things I've learned over the last few years, um, uh, and I guess things that we can do to try and counter what's going on in the world at the moment. I think that's the, the most important bit. The solutions, yeah, yeah I, quite, I quite agree. So it'll be interesting to hear your thoughts on those a bit later on. Uh, have you got more gigs coming up through the year? Or are you doing? Uh, well, I do. I do some after dinner speaking anyway as a, as a living. So a lot of that is based around my football experiences. Um, but yeah, there's still um, lots of people that are, uh, are wanting me to go and speak at things, and um, uh, I've just agreed to go to Jersey later on in the year to do uh, an event to help support the vaccine injured uh, over in Jersey. Um, and so, yeah, all that kind of stuff is popping up uh, all the time. So, I'm sure, there'll be plenty more through the year. Oh, uh, finally, can you tell me, uh, we were talking about solutions a second ago. What, what would you say is the most important thing that we should be concentrating on right now? Um, well, the most important thing, uh, I think there's so many different things that are going on, but um, I think one of the most simplest things you can do uh, to stop the tyranny um, is to use cash a lot. Um, as much as you can so I think if you lose that I think we're in a lot of trouble uh, it's one of the simplest things you can do and I think not complying to uh, ridiculous gov government dictats is, is probably the, uh, the second most important thing do not comply 
if it's ridiculous and it doesn't feel right and your gut tells you it's wrong do not comply amen to that yes yeah that's uh, uh totally agree with that and uh we'll keep it short and sweet uh matt letitia many thanks for your time my pleasure <laughs>